Hey everybody, Rudy here from the Home Improvement Channel. I just got back from a job and the water damage was horrendous. The drain got plugged up and this thing ran and ran and ran for who knows how long. Probably over a year is my guess and we're in Florida so you can imagine the condensation was horrendous. They never put in a switch when they installed the system so there was no way to shut down the system once the water started backing up. This video is not so much how to tell you how to clear the drain, but how to install the switch if you don't already have one. If you don't have one, take a look. This will help you out. All right, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so you should have another port down here where your drain is at. If you've got a plastic cover right there, just go ahead and pop that plug out of there. Now I'm gonna use my three quarter male adapter right here and add a little bit of thread sealant to that and go ahead and thread that on in there. Now you can use a pair of pliers to get that a little bit better than finger tight, but don't over tighten that because it's plastic. Now cut a little short piece of pipe right here. That way we can use it with our uh, safety switch and we're gonna test fit that and as you can see, it's not gonna fit. When we go to remove the safety switch, it doesn't actually come out. So very simple solution. Cut another short piece of pipe and use a 90 right there. And I'll go ahead and test fit that. And as you can see, it's gonna work perfect. Now, when you glue that all together, make sure that your switch is either level or slightly pointed down. You don't want that up. All right, go ahead and use glue right here. Now, I like to use glue on both surfaces that contact each other. That way, there's never gonna be any issue right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish gluing this thing together and we'll be right back on the other side, okay? Now we'll go ahead and stretch out our wire right here. And normally these wires go inside the unit, um, not on this one, but normally they do. You'll wanna route that in a very careful way away from any sharp edges or moving parts. And also uh, make sure you have the power turned off on this. If you uh, take one of these wire nuts off and short that to ground right there, you'll burn out the transformer that's in the back of the unit and you'll have to fix that. So keep the power turned off when you're doing this and you'll be a lot safer. But right here, we have a thermostat bundle that's on the outside of this particular unit. They just made it easy for me. Now what I'm doing here is I'm separating the yellow wire. The yellow wire goes to the outdoor unit and it engages the contactor out there. So all we have to do is split those yellow wires right there. One's coming from the thermostat, one's going to the outdoor unit and we're gonna take one side of our switch and connect it to one of the yellow wires. And I like to uh, go ahead and twist that on there. And then I'll give it a little bit of a tug when I'm done with the wire nut to make sure nothing is loose. Uh, very important to do that. Now just take the other side of the switch and hook it to the other yellow wire. Now when the switch is activated or when the switch is tripped, it'll cut the outdoor unit off, but the indoor unit will still keep running so I like to do it this way. This way you have a little bit of a fan in the house. Your blower fan will still work. There we go. We got our unit ran and there's our switch right there. Now, so we're gonna test this switch here in just a second, but before we do that, let's go ahead and show you an alternative way to do this. You can hook it to the red wire and what I'm doing right here is I'm separating the red wire. One's coming from the unit, from the transformer in the back, the 24 volts and then I'm gonna hook the other uh, black wire that comes from the safety switch to the other red wire. Now when that safety switch is tripped, it'll cut the entire unit off. I actually don't prefer this method, but it is another method that you can do. So we've gone ahead and lifted the switch and the outdoor unit has cut off. So I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. 